Welcome back to what should hopefully be the penultimate episode of this series for converting the valve cover in my Z4 with an N52 engine to magnesium from plastic. Uh, I have a random collection of parts, or what at least looks like a random collection of parts here. Um, I've done quite a bit of just uh, final finishing on the parts that I want, and I'm almost ready to uh, put everything together. Really, all I need now are the gaskets and the bolts for putting the magnesium valve cover on the engine. Once I have that, everything should fit into place nicely. For tubing, I got this uh, really nice stuff, made in USA, 19 millimeter, three quarter inch, from a company called uh, Damon Motorsports. Uh, they were uh, very friendly when uh, you know, I asked them some questions. Let me make sure I don't have any private information on here. There we go, elegantly redacted. So I bought uh, six feet of this stuff, and that cost me, uh, the, nah, pricing isn't on here. Uh, it cost me, I think, 30 bucks for the six feet plus about eight bucks shipping. Really awesome, they even uh, send out these really, really high quality stickers. So I'll be putting that somewhere. Uh, shipping was fast and really good quality hose because it's very, very flexible. Um, this is the old stuff I had, which is a lot more stiff. They look similar, but uh, this stuff is a lot higher quality than this. And this is even, I think this is Continental brand USA, but it's a bit too rigid for what I'm looking for. This has a, is a little bit slipperier um, and uh, I think works really well. Next, uh, what I got are These, whoops, spilling parts all over the place. Though. Are these uh, one inch PEX fittings? I think I mentioned these in my last episode. Um, during fitting, the painting, the paint is wearing off here, but that's not a big deal. I can always repaint these. And the good news is that this stuff right here sticks onto these barbs, um, these barb fittings like it's insane. I can't, I can barely even rotate these. So I'm not, I didn't want to use any hose clamps and thankfully I don't think I'm going to have to because this is under such a low, um, it's under such a low pressure vacuum that it, this is never going to come off and I'm going to, yeah, I'm probably going to have to cut this to get it off. Cause this was just a test piece and you can see in there that it, uh, it ends up being perfectly flush from the ID of the brass to the ID of the hose. And that's uh, that'll be good for flow, even though this isn't a high flow scenario. Um, I also have some leftover genuine BMW hose clamps that I will be possibly fitting to the under manifold side of the engine for a couple of reasons. One, I just don't know how well it's this hose is going to fit down there, but also if there's anything that I want to guarantee doesn't fall off, it'll be the stuff that's under the manifold where it's impossible to get at things. So to adapt one of these to go into that, um, the outlet from the magnesium manifold, I had to make up these effectively these, uh, custom O rings that I made by taking a strip of this older um, continental tubing, putting a socket in there that was a, a friction fit, and then putting it on a drill, and then taking that to a sander to sand these down to 40 thousandths thick. It seems like a lot of work, and it, it actually kind of was, because I sanded this stuff down through the belting into, that, um, into the inside of that, and then I'll be slipping those over the barbs here, and then um, when I stick this into the manifold, it makes a really positive um, seal and positive connection in there, and that thing, it will not come out. It's hard enough to get out by hand. Uh, next, I was able to just stop by the uh, local big box store and pick up some P-clips. I, I already have two of these on the car. These are extra in case I needed more. Um, 
where at this point I don't think I will. I think the two that are on there will be just fine. And finally, the, I, this is the PCV valve that I'm gonna try out first. Um, this is actually a Volkswagen part. Here is the part number. This is just one I got off of Amazon. It was the cheapest one I could find because I don't know if it's gonna work for sure or not. And I did already make a modification. So this is for a 1.8 liter turbo car and turbos and naturally aspirated cars do not have the same PCV systems because there's um, positive manifold pressure instead of manifold vacuum and the uh, crankcase and the blow-by is significantly greater on a turbo car. So um, to, to make sure that this works properly for my application, I added in a, uh, a check valve system and this is perfect, this is completely removable. I, it can be put right back to stock so I could try it out both ways. I'll put up a couple pictures of how I made this thing. Um, I just took a progressive rate coil spring and I bent the end and I drilled a hole through the side of this and that is purely to retain this spring so it doesn't fall out and go into the tubing and possibly into the engine. There's also just a ball bearing in there. And so if I, if you blow in this way, it, um, the flow is blocked or the flow is checked, depending on uh, if you want to use a technical, technical term. If you uh, blow in this way, the air is free to move out. Conversely, if there is vacuum on this end, um, it's allowed to flow. If there's vacuum at this end, it's not allowed to flow. So this I'm going to be having before the catch can and the flow is going this way towards the catch can. So this is, um, it'll be out from the, from the valve cover. There we go. It'll be out from the valve cover into the PCV, out of the PCV into the catch can, then rooting all the way back around to the manifold. So that's where I'm at now. So here is the engine bay. Here's how this stuff is fitting up. I'm not super happy with that. It isn't touching the heat shield here, but it's a little shorter than I wanted. I wish it would have been maybe another, I don't know, half inch or inch longer. Um, this piece as well, I wish this was just a little bit longer, but because I can't test those fittings on this plastic valve cover, I have to wait till the metal one is on it. Um, I can't really tell because it'll be right about there is where that one's going to end up. But I have enough in this roll here, sorry for the crazy camera movement, that I should be able to get another length or two out of this for either for um, either of these two if I need more length on one or the other. And if not, I can always order some more hose. It's not that expensive. Hopefully in the next episode, if you want to call these episodes, I'll have the gaskets and I'll be removing the manifold, removing the valve cover, and uh, converting everything over for the first test. So the work continues ever forward, and hopefully within a few weeks, I can get this whole thing wrapped up and we can all have the answer of, is it possible to convert an N52 to have the magnesium manifold using off-the-shelf parts and meeting the main goal of make sure that everything is reversible? Um, I'm, I really have no idea. I have no guess at this point. I'm kind of 50-50 on it. As always, if any of you know any more than I do, please, uh, you know, chip in down there in the comments and let me know your thoughts. So, see you next time.